Hi, I'm Jonathan Katz Moses, and today I'm going to show you why you need a scraper blade for your low angle hand plane. All right, guys, I got a treat for you today. A viewer, Mike Allen Templeton, I'll link his Instagram down in the bottom. He's a fabulous woodworker, he's a teenager, and he is just killing it. So go check him out, give him some love, because he sent this to me, this 90 degree Lee Nielsen number 62 blade uh, that they, they just came out with pretty recently, I believe, and it's a scraper blade. Most low angle planes have a 12 degree bed in them, and this has a 90 degree bevel angle, and so the attack angle is 112 degrees, sort of like, a scraper blade. So let's bring you into the bench and show you how this thing works. So this is the Lee Nielsen 90 degree number 62 scraper blade. They also have this for their low angle smoother. They have this for their low angle block plane. Uh, I believe a lot of their low angle planes they have scraper blades for, but you could easily make one of these by getting an extra blade and putting it on the grinder and grinding it to a 90 degree bevel angle. It's really easy to sharpen. You just take it on your stone and lap it until you just basically take away the bird edge that's gonna be caused from it rolling over. As most of you know, I think the number 62 is the most versatile plane on the market. It can do just about anything from smoothing, end grain, rough dimensioning if you need to, tackling really, really tough grain. And now with Lee Nielsen coming out with several blade angles for the number 62, you can see their commitment to the low angle planes is they feel the same way. So let me show you the difference between the two. This is the 25 degree bevel that comes with the plane and then we'll go ahead and throw the smoother in there and show you the difference so here we go so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to take this zebra wood which is notoriously notoriously one of the hardest woods to hand plane we're going to sort of roughly split it in half here and we're going to hit it with i've got the bevel in there with a small opening of the mouth uh it's just roughly open the blade's pretty square although i'm not this isn't going to be part of a project so not too worried about it. Uh, and we're gonna hit this with the, the hand plane. So you can just hear that is just tearing out all over the place. Taking a very light pass. And you can see just right in there all that tear out. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and put in the scraper blade. Now with the scraper blade, you wanna open the mouth way up because scraper chips tend to really clog up because they're so fine and dusty they tend to kind of clump up so i got that in there we're going to tighten our uh, cap lever here now we're going to go ahead and do the left side you can hear the difference it's just the sound is so much nicer it's just taking such a nice fine pass and you can see those chips i mean look at how buttery it's thin and soft those are those are just perfect chips for what you want with a tough board and it is just i mean it's finish ready smooth over here you can see this is the side that i was using the scraper plane on and it is just smooth ready for finish there's one little piece here that looked like it was a low spot maybe but and you can see on the other side just tear out all over the place that blade just kept grabbing See all the way back here, just tons of tear out. And I'll show you the difference. I'll put some finish on it here so you can really see. So as you can see here, here's the chips from the scraper blade and then here's the chips from the regular 25 degree angle. You can just see that these are just so, they're like almost dust, but they're really, you're getting those fine wispy shavings that you get almost when you cut ingrain. I mean, it just is really, really thin and nice. And then these guys are just, you can just tell there's just tear out and different thicknesses because the grain kept wanting to come up and grab. But really you can see why in a low angle plane, a scraper blade makes such a difference. So as you can see, the results really speak for themselves. The scraper blade just did such a better job. I've never really been able to play in zebra wood, so I thought this would be a great board to use as an example to show you really how amazing a scraper blade is for finishing especially toughly figured woods. Honestly, you should check one out. And at $45, it's just really a great investment if you have a Lee Nielsen plane. They have them, like I said, for the number 62, the low angle smoother and their low angle block plane. Or you could easily make one by just buying a blade and grinding it to 90 degrees. It really is, is a great investment. Guys, I wanna thank 
Mike Allen Designs. He's at Designs Mike on Instagram. Go over and show him some love for sending this out and letting me test it for you guys so I can show you what a great utility tool this is. When you just have a tough time with figured grain, this is just faster than anything out there. Sandpaper scraper gets the job done and it is wonderful. Guys, thanks so much for watching and have a wonderful day. Stay safe in the shop.